everybody, we're going to play one more game for the Sega CD as part of Jason Morrison's birthday special, in which it's going to be Jeopardy. Let's see how we do. Welcome. Let's play Jeopardy. Yeah, let's do that. Let's have a good game. How many players? Please enter your name. this game. Let's get going. In the Jeopardy round, one daily double will appear in one of these categories. I hope we get some good ones. Let's take a look. We have the Animal Kingdom, Colorful Quotes, Notable Names, Film Facts, Art, and we'll close it out with, Potpourri. Contestant number one. All right, I'll start things off with the Animal Kingdom for 100. For $100, here is the clue. Most spiders spin these, but a bowl of spider spins a line of silk with a sticky ball attached to trap prey. Contestant number one. What are webs? You'll have 60 seconds to provide your response. Yes, select again. I'll take um, the Animal Kingdom for 200. It's the Daily Double. What would you like to wager? Like its close relative, the octopus, the Argonaut has this many arms. What is eight? Correct. I'll take uh, the Animal Kingdom for 300 For 300 dollars, answer? Ma mature female cats are known by this regal term. Contestant number one. What is a queen? What are queens? Good job. For four hundred dollars. The Argali are the largest wild ones of these animals. One type is named for Marco Polo. Contestant number one. Uh, what are sheep? Good job. For five hundred dollars. 
Despite its name, the pronghorn antelope native to this continent is not a true an antelope. Contestant number one. Uh, what is north of, uh, what is, um... Um, what is North America? Yes, select again. Hey! Art for one. Or one hundred dollars. The statue of the goddess was found in 1820 with pieces of her arms, but they later disappeared. Contestant number one. What is the Venus de Milo? Correct. For two hundred dollars. Annabel Karachi was one of the many who painted the Holy Family's flight into this country. Contestant number one. Uh, what is Egypt? Yes, select again. For $300, the answer there is... This American artist thought of his paintings as music, calling them arrangements and symphonies. Symphony. Contestant number one. James Whistler. Who is James Whistler? They took it. Yep. Yes, that's correct. For $400, here is the clue. Born in a Russian Jewish ghetto in 1887, he often painted Jewish images like Rabbi with Torah. Contestant number one. Who is um, Edward Farber? No? Sorry, incorrect. Anyone else? Mark Chagall. Mark Chagall. All right. For five hundred dollars, answer. What the title eaters ate in Van Gogh's work. Contestant number one. What are potatoes? What is a potato? Yes, that's correct. Okay. Colorful quotes 100. Or $100. Here is the clue. In a wedding ride, this colorful phrase follows something borrowed. Contestant number one. What is something blue? Yes. For two hundred dollars. In Don Quixote, Cervantes wrote, "The pot calls the kettle this." Contestant number one. What is black? Yes. For three hundred dollars. The Lord is my shepherd; I shall not want. He maketh me want to lie down in these. 
Contestant number one. What are green pastures? Yes, select again. You make me to lie down and beat For four hundred dollars. The answer there is. I never saw this color cow. I hope I never hope to see one. Contestant number one. What is purple? Yes, select again. For $500. And she stoops to conquer. Other goldsmith wrote the color, this color of perfection. Contestant number one. Um. What is pink? Yes, select again. Oh, full touch 400. Or $100. He not only started in Bonnie and Clyde, he produced it. Contestant number one. It was Warren Beatty. Yes. That's correct. I'll take film facts for 200. For $200. 1980s Any Which Way You Can was a sequel to this 1978 film. Contestant number what one. Is every Which Way But Loose. Yes, select again. For $300. The Love Bug, What's Up Doc, and Bullet all featured cars speeding through this city's streets. Contestant number one. Um, what is San Francisco? Yes, select again. For $400. The answer there is... The top film of 1977 was the fourth episode in a nine film series of which only the middle three have been made. Contestant number one. What is Star Wars? Yes, select again. For $500. In a 1933 hit movie, it followed the setup, the hook, the tail, the wire, and the shutout. Contestant number one. What is the sting? Yes, select again. Or $100. Here is the clue. This late Iranian religious leader was born Ruhollah Hindi circa Contestant 1901. number one.
Who is? Who was Ayatollah? That won't take it. Sorry, incorrect. Anyone else? The Ayatollah Khomeini. Yeah, I had to put the last name in too. It's okay, let's keep it going. For $200. Answer? Charles Revson began this cosmetics company in 1932 with a $300 investment. What is Revlon? Contestant number one. Yes. Select again. For $300. Mary Mallon, a cook, was dubbed this for her ability to spread a certain disease. Contestant number one. What is, um, salmonella? That is wrong. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, sorry. That's not right. Oh, well. Contestant number two. Typhoid Mary, yeah. Right. right. It's okay. For four hundred dollars. Julie Crone was the first woman to compete in this prestigious Breeders Cup in this sport. Contestant number one. What is uh horse racing? Yes. That's correct. That's correct. For five hundred dollars. Answer. King's successor as SCLC president who said you can kill the dreamer, but you cannot kill the dream. Contestant number one. Who is Mar uh, who is um I'll just say, who is Mahalia Jackson? Sorry, incorrect. Anyone else? Oh. Contestant number two. Good job. For one hundred dollars. A board game based on his career has playing pieces shaped like hound dogs and king Cadillacs. 
Contestant number one. Who's Elvis Presley? Yes. For two hundred dollars. Complete Kentucky State motto, United We Stand. Contestant number one. What is divided we fall? Yes, that's correct. For three hundred dollars. Odometer measures this. Contestant number one. What is the mileage? Yes, that's correct. For four hundred dollars. Let's take a look at the answer. In 1990, Ethel Newman became the first person to fly an ultralight aircraft across this ocean. What is the Atlantic? Contestant number one. Yes, that's correct. For five hundred dollars. Late Spanish classical guitarist who honors include whose honors included the Great Cross of Isabel. Contestant number one. Who is um Angel Romero? Sorry, incorrect. Anyone else? Dang it. Oh. Contestant number two. Andres Segovia. Yes. That's correct. Now for the double Jeopardy round, with two daily doubles somewhere on the board in these categories. Let's get some good ones here. We have the 20th century, plants, holidays, the south, rainy songs, and finally, musical instruments. Contestant number three. For two hundred dollars. Answer. Okay. Commander Charles Lightoller, the highest ranking officer to survive the nineteen twelve sinking of this ship, died December eighth, nineteen fifty two. Contestant number one. You'll have 60 seconds to provide your response. What was the Titanic? Yes, that's correct. For $400.
On May 9, 1949, he succeeded his grandfather, Louis II, as ruler of Monaco. Contestant number one. Uh, who is uh, Rainier? No? Sorry, incorrect. Contestant number two. Prince Rainier the third. They have to have the whole thing. That's why I didn't accept it. Yes, that's correct. The answer there is one of the two daily doubles. How much would you like to bet? Here is the clue. In December 1914, this country established a protectorate over Egypt. Great Britain, yep. Yes, that's correct. For a thousand dollars. His presidential library opened in West Branch, Iowa in 1962. Contestant number one. Who was um, Herbert Hoover? Yes, that's correct. For six hundred dollars. This Soviet physicist was sent into internal exile in Gorky in nineteen eighty. Contestant number one. Who is uh Sakharov? Yes, select again. For $200. His birthday was first observed in the late 1700s. Some celebrated on February 11th, some February 22nd. Contestant number one. Who is George Washington? Yes, select. For $400. Pre-Lenten Day, sometimes called Pancake Tuesday because they're traditionally eaten on it. Contestant number one. What is uh, Shrove Tuesday? Yes, select again. For $600. This October day is celebrated at Centennial as a national holiday in 1992. Contestant number one. What is Columbus Day? Yes, select again. For 
National Hospital Week, the week of May 12th, commemorates her 1820 birth in Italy. Contestant number one. Uh, who is uh, Florence Nightingale? Yes, select again. It's a daily double. How much would you like to bet? Answer. This holiday celebrated July 1st was called Dominion Day until 1982. I think it's Canada Day. Uh... Yep, Canada Day. What is Canada Day? Yes, select. For two hundred dollars. This Hawaiian instrument was developed from a Portuguese guitar called a machete. Contestant number what is one. A ukulele? Yes, that's correct. For four hundred dollars. The answer there is. In 1768, Johann Christian Bach gave the first public recital of this new keyboard instrument. Contestant number one. I think it's an organ. Oh no, it's the piano. Yes, select again. For $600. Lionel Hampton is perhaps the best known player of this xylophone like instrument. Contestant number well, it's one. A vibraphone. Yes, select again. For $800. As early as the 13th century, marching soldiers were known to use this small flute. Contestant number one. What's a five? Yes, select. For $1,000. Here is the clue. It's the largest orchestral string instrument that's played with a bow. Contestant number one. Or a bow. What is the cello? Sorry. What? It's all good. For $200. One scale rates these 0 to 10 for hotness. A pimento is 1 and a habanero, 10. Contestant number 1.
What is the uh, Scoville scale? No, they won't take it. No, I'm afraid that is not correct. Contestant number two. A pepper. Oh, okay. Yes, that's correct. For four hundred dollars. The macadamia or Queensland nut originated on this continent. Contestant number one. What is Australia? Yes, that's correct. For six hundred dollars. Thomas Jefferson grew these love apples long before most Americans considered them fit to eat. Contestant number one. What are tomatoes? Yes, select. For eight hundred dollars. We don't know if the white how sweet it is variety of this vegetable was Jackie Gleason's favorite. Contestant number one. What is corn? Yes, select again. For a thousand dollars. Answer? Hydrangea is grown in soil about 6.5 pH of blue flowers. Above seven, they end up this color. Contestant number one. What is red? <coughs> Thank you. Wrong. Contestant number three. The color pink. Yes, that's correct. For two hundred dollars. Fancy Fanny Price's order to the heavens as interpreted by Barbara Streisand and Funny Girl. Contestant number one. What is don't bring a crap don't bring around a cloud to rain on my parade? Sorry, incorrect. Anyone else? For six hundred dollars, contestant number one.
right. For four hundred dollars. Contestant number one. Yes, select again. For $800, let's take a look at the answer. Contestant number one. Yes, that's correct. For a thousand dollars. Contestant number one. Yes, that's correct. For two hundred dollars, here is the clue. Contestant number one. Yes, that's correct. For four hundred dollars. Contestant number one. Yes. For six hundred dollars, the answer there is contestant number one. Yes, select again. For eight hundred dollars, here is the clue. Contestant number one. Yes, select again. For a thousand dollars. Contestant number one. Correct. We're back for Final Jeopardy. And the Final Jeopardy category for today is...
Contestant number one. Contestant number one, what would you like to wager? The final Jeopardy clue is, you'll have 60 seconds to provide your response. Good luck. Contestant number two. Contestant number two. How much would you like to bet? The final Jeopardy clue is, you'll have 60 seconds to provide your response. Good luck. Contestant number three. Contestant number three. What would you like to wager? The final Jeopardy clue is, you'll have 60 seconds to provide your response. Good luck. Contestant number three, your final Jeopardy response was, good job. So I'm going to end up with $26,262, and I'll see you all for another game. And your final Jeopardy wager was, your total? Contestant number two, let's see what your response was. Correct. And your final Jeopardy wager was your total? Contestant number one. Your final Jeopardy response was, good job. And your final Jeopardy wager was, your total? Contestant number one, you are now the reigning Jeopardy champion. Congratulations.